Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm finally going to be doing an unboxing of the giveaway uh, prizes that I won from The Pet Pantry on YouTube. She makes videos about all of her lovely pets and she's wonderful and I won her giveaway in second place which means I have the $40 budget uh, shopping spree for any small animal and I chose my long haired male Syrian hamster Moose to shop for so of course he's getting spoiled more because I love hamsters so much so I actually got two packages from that giveaway. Thank you so much to the pet pantry on YouTube, you're amazing. And then I also have a old hamster mail um, box from Christmas to unbox with you guys. And I also have a little haul from Petco that I got today, just a few items for my hamster moose as well. So he is going to be very spoiled as per usual. And I'm super excited to get into this video, so just don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. I also wanted to add, I did just get my nails done if you guys noticed. Um, they're like this blue beachy color and I got them done for summer and for vacation next week so I'm super excited and I'm sorry if I'm talking with my hands a lot because that's what I do when I get my nails done after not having them done for a while so yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with the Amazon box. I got one package from Amazon and one package from Etsy for the giveaway winnings and this one is from Amazon. I'll put a little screen recording of exactly where on Amazon I got this from but it's the 11 piece $11 hamster like chew toy and enrichment box so I'm really excited I did block out my address on the other side but I'm still not going to show you guys and I just have some handy dandy scissors and we're going to unbox it okay I feel like I'm going to hurt myself but it's okay I'm scared I'm going to hurt the contents of this box with my scissors if you guys remember like a long long time ago I made a video um where I unboxed some stuff from my leopard gecko that I was getting on this channel so this is reminiscent of that with the little like baby scissors. I don't even use those anymore. Okay, she's open. Oh my goodness. I thought it would be a little bit more exciting, but right on top is just the bendy bridge. So yeah, the first thing in here is this bendy bridge, which is just pretty standard. It is pretty bendy though. Like I have a lot of bendy bridges for my hamster, um, but you can always have more. It's bad. but. This one's like the easiest to bend I've ever owned. Like it's the one, like it feels so good to bend. That sounds so weird. And it's like on the smaller side, wood, si wood size pieces, whatever. It's smaller, like that. But it is actually probably better designed than the ones at my local pets, pet shops because it doesn't have as many gaps in it and it's a little closer together, which is really good. And I think my hamster will love this, obviously. All hamsters love these things. And it's still big enough for a Syrian, and you can use it for a lot of other things, like dividing substrates, um, going over substrates, a hide, you name it. It is just a really good item for a hamster to own. So this is actually good quality, so I'm really happy about that. And that is like a good sign for the rest of the box. So then the next thing is this, which is just like three more items technically, and this is just apple sticks, bamboo sticks, and then like oxbow timothy hay sticks, which is just a stick covered in like oxbow hay, I believe, which is really good for rabbits and guinea pigs. Um, but I'm really excited about the bamboo stick because I've never like found bamboo chew sticks for my hamster. So this is the first, and it looks really interesting, like the texture will be very enriching. And then these apple wood sticks are actually a bit bigger than the ones I usually get, which is good because my apple wood sticks at my local pet shops and stores or whatever are always kind of on the smaller side, and I have a big Syrian hamster, so this is good. And I hope he likes the oxbow ones, but if he doesn't, it's okay. Most hamsters don't love hay because they can't digest it properly. Um, they might chew on it, they nest with it, but they don't like to eat it. So this is better for like rabbits and guinea pigs who eat hay and like to digest hay and stuff. The next thing I got is this. This is the little hanging chew toy that came in the box and it's actually really good quality as well. It's really small compared to like the normal hanging chew toys that I usually buy for my hamster, but it's still not that bad. It all has like a a smell to it, but it's not a bad smell, it just smells like wood. And this one is just probably the smallest like item in here in a sense, because all these little sticks are really small. But you could definitely put treats in between the wood pieces 
and I think you can attach more onto the metal like string it's on but I think my hamster will love this I think because it's so small I could definitely put it in my hamsters like travel cage just hang it on the side of his travel cage for him to do, have like a little bit more enrichment whenever he's in there when I'm cleaning his cage so this is actually really cool and also not bad quality this thing I got is this which is just a little like roller with a bell in it and I'm gonna take the bell out my dad said that like before I ordered it he said I could probably or he could probably just um, like squeeze the bell with metal clamps and then pull it out through the slats so that he doesn't have a bell and his chew toy because what is he gonna do with that he's only gonna possibly hurt himself with it I don't like bells in hamster chew toys because there's no beneficial part to the hamster and unless you're supervising them with a bell toy and like the playpen or something it's really not that safe because it's so small they can ingest it or something or there's an even smaller ball making the bell make a ringing noise that if they got the bell open they could choke on so i am going to remove the bell but this is just a normal wood chew toy that is really cute and then the next thing i got was just a wicker ball i have a lot of these he actually likes pulling them apart and i can put treats inside and he can work to get it out so it's a good boredom breaker and this one's very cute i like the cream color of it it's very nice the thing i got was this which on the site amazon whatever they said that it's like a unicycle chew but it's basically just a piece of wood in between like a dowel rod and two more pieces of wood and this is a really cute chew toy, and I'm excited to give it to him because it's just a simple chew toy that I see people have, but I've never found in store. So I'm glad to order it finally and have it. Super cute. The next thing I got was a little, like, woven, bra uh, oh my gosh, woven chew carrot. And I think he's just going to eat the paper or chew the paper off and then leave this. But who knows? I like that it's a bigger chew because... Honestly, Syrian hamsters love the big chews, and they don't touch the small chews as often, but it also just depends on your hamster, so I think he'll really like this, and even if he doesn't, it's super cute and would look really cute in any cage setup as a pop of color, so I'm really happy I got this. It's reminiscent of, like, the Night Angel carrot chews that he demolished, so I hope he likes these. And then the second to last item is just two little, like, treats. This one is just an Oxbow, like, Timothy cake. And then this is just an oxbow ball, like of hay. These are really good treats for your rabbit and your guinea pigs and hamsters that like hay a lot, I guess. But we'll see how much he likes these because I've gotten him things like this before and he just chewed on a little bit, but he, he wasn't crazy about it, like whimsy chews and other things. So this just came in the package, but I doubt he'll eat all of it. But it's cute anyways, and it's not harmful, so you could definitely just put it in a cage for just a pop of color or just something added to your cage. The final thing in this 11, th 11 piece unboxing is this really cute wooden like teeter-totter bridge. It's just all wood and then has slats in it and it is pretty big. I think it's big enough for most Syrians and dwarfs. It might be on the small side, side for my hamster but I think he'll really like it in his playpen because it's more like for flat surfaces, not in his cage with bedding that he's just going to bury it. Or I could put it on top of his chamber hide when I clean his cage out next. I'm going to give him back his bigger chamber hide and this would fit on there. And that's just something hamsters like to do. I've had hamsters for a while and they love going on things that go like this. Not all hamsters do, but they like the little like enrichment. So I'm really happy I got something cute like this that's also like goes in my natural setups. So this is really cute and also a good quality and it's actually really nice. So I'm really happy with the overall quality of this package. So this is everything that came in the box and honestly I think it's a decent price for everything you're getting. Um, some may beg to differ but I think it's pretty good. You guys know I if he likes the hay covered treats and stuff because from my experience he doesn't but everything else I know he'll love. So I'm really happy with this and I'm really thankful to the pet pantry for having the giveaway. And I'm so thankful for winning or getting second place in the giveaway. So the next box is the final box from the giveaway and I am so excited because this is the big one, the big one. This one is from Etsy and I've wanted this for a while. I don't need it at all. I have a lot of these already but I decided I wanted one more and I wanted to try it out and I'll be doing a review on this item later down the road after my hamster uses it a bit but we're gonna go ahead and open this without damaging the contents inside or my hands so let's do it I'm oh my goodness so this is from a small what is it called a small shop on etsy which makes their own handmade wheels and it's called the carolina storm express like 
bucket wheel. And these are really good hamster wheels. They're really quiet. They are like a homemade version of the Night Angel wheel because of how quiet and big they are. And I have, and I ended up getting hot pink as the wheel color because if you can't tell right now, one of my favorite colors is pink. Not hot pink, but just pink. For some reason, I've always liked pink, but I like it a lot right now for no reason at all. So I was like, let's just get the wheel pink and live a little, even though it's not going to go with my cage designs that much. I think I'll probably be using this in his playpen a lot until I feel like using it in his cage since he has a really good night angel wheel and I already, there's a bug in here, and I already have like um, a lot of other wheels as well. I did not need another wheel but I wanted to test out this like small shop and this highly regarded wheel so I'm really excited and you can like make your own technically if you have a bucket lying around, a roller blade thing, and like PV C pipes, but it's super cool, I think, and a lot of ethical breeders use these in their big Syrian um, enclosures for big, heavy, ethical Syrian hamsters, so I'm really happy about this. I think it's around 10 and a half, 11 inch, so it's not as big as my Night Angel wheel, but it's big enough, so there's just a bunch of newspaper in it, which is funny to me, and here's the wheel itself, like the bucket. I love this so much. There's a fly in here. Oh my gosh, this, whe this wheel is so beautiful. I know some people don't like pink, and honestly, I know why. It's just a little garish, but I think it is really beautiful. And the stamps in here, but as you guys can see, it's on a roller blade that's blue, which is really pretty in my opinion. And you can adjust the angle and the height of the wheel on the back. These wheels are only 20 something dollars, so it's a really good price for a really good quality item that they put together themselves. It doesn't have any, um, uh, like bearing on the front it's just a few screws and then also it is literally a bucket as you guys can see the bucket and then it also has like a measurement in it like a bucket would like right here but you can't see and it doesn't really have any grooves other than some markings of like measurements so it's a different texture for a hamster to run on but if your hamster is a wheel here this is a really good wheel because it doesn't get caught in grooves of the wheel and it's a lot easier to wipe down and clean so that's some uh, pros but I'm going to do a separate review on this wheel after my hamster uses it and to see if it becomes unsilent like his night angel wheel because he's such a big hamster so yeah there's a bunch more like a ton and then at the bottom is the um, base which is just PVC pipe and there's a note from the business and it just says assembly instructions and troubleshooting tips can be found on their website and then their website and then they have an FAQ page for details uh, and need another wheel check our website it's much cheaper than Etsy which is interesting and then they also have a what looks like to be an email if you need help and they reply ASAP so really good customer service if that's what you would call it this box was pretty big so I was really excited when I saw it but I'm pretty sure I can do this on my own without looking up the website thing so I think you just put this in this so let me see I'm gonna clean it all before I give it to my hamster as well just because I don't like know exactly where it's sourced from and stuff but that was pretty easy to put it together and as you can see it's a big wheel it's the size of my head just like the night angel wheel and it is very sturdy how they set it up which I like a lot because my hamster just ruins a wheel he'll just like make it make so much noise so I'm really happy I got this wheel and I really like the blue um, on the back and it's just so cute. It's, it's like so quiet. It reminds me so much of the Night Angel wheel because it has a similar like dual bearing and it's just so quiet and such a nice big wheel but this one's a lot cheaper and more customizable in my opinion and I think it's really cool. So I'm really happy I was able to get this for my hamster wheel. So thank you so much to the Pet Pantry for your giveaway. And I'm super excited to do a separate review on this super cool wheel. And if you're looking for a more affordable but big enough and silent wheel that supports your big Syrian hamster or even your dwarf hamster, this is a great, great, great wheel to look at on Etsy. And on to the last package before I get, show you guys what I got from Petco. This video is going to be really long because I have so many things. But this is just a hamster mail unboxing from last December. <laughs> but it's okay. So in case you didn't know, hamster mail sends um, you a package every month if you get a subscription. Or you could just order one box for whatever month you're in. But you have to order it, order it ahead of time or something like that. 
and it's really cute. The box is so cute. It like has a hamster on it and stuff, and I really love it. Yeah, it's so cute. Let's go ahead and show you guys all the items in the December box, even though we're on to, what, June, July? <laughs> So, first we have the Cupid and Comet Festive Gnaw Toy for Small Animals, and it's the Woven Star Trio by Rosewood. This is super cute. I'm definitely going to put it in his cage during next Christmas. I don't want to look too far into the future right now, but yes, next Christmas this would be a really cute hanging chew toy. You can technically cut it apart so you have separate chew toys of like different uh, textures and materials. But I'm going to keep it together since it's just twine and I'm going to hang it from his cage as something for him to chew on and you could definitely put treats in the middle of the stars and it's a really good enrichment toy since it has different textures. This thing in here is the reindeer popcorn which is just popcorn plus carrot and parsnip and this is super cute. If it was Christmas it would be even cuter but basically this is by the Healthy Hopper and they make the cutest packaging and this one has a little hamster with a reindeer antlers on and carrots and I checked all of the expiration dates a while ago because I did technically like open it on Christmas but I never got into it and I kind of forgot about it but all this stuff is still good as long as I don't open it so we're still good for that. The next thing in here is the Rosewood Naturals Berry, Carrot, and Coconut Trees and these are just cute little uh, Christmas trees with berries and coconut and carrot in them so just a really good tree and it's pretty healthy but a lot of them are crumbling apart because I've had this for so long but they're still not expired so I can still give this to my hamster whenever I feel like it which is really cute and this is another cute festive treat. Then the last and final item in here is like what it like reminds me of a fruit cake. It's just a big forage thing. It's called the festive forage wreath and this one is by Healthy Hopper again with the cutest hamster designs ever. It's a cute little hamster with a Christmas hat on and a wreath. And this is a wreath. I thought it was a fruit cake, but it's okay. And this is just a bunch of forage. It just has all different flowers and hay and probably berries and things like that in it. And I already have a lot of forage, so I'm not going to open this yet either because I don't need to use it yet either. But when I run out of forage, I'll use this first because this is a very fun bundle and I'm really excited to use this with him. So this was a really good haul as well that I completely forgot I had, which is crazy. And I can't wait to give to Moose as well. So now I'm going to go get the bunch of stuff I got today at Petco. It's not that much, but I'll show you guys that real quick. And real quick, this is just a look at everything from the hamster mail unboxing. It just comes with so many goodies every single time, and my wheel's right here. Okay guys, now on to the Petco bag. This is the big Petco bag. It's not that big. I don't know why I'm fluffing this up right now, but basically I had to go to Petco today because they are the only local, like the pet store near me, but it wasn't near me, that had my hamster's lab locks that I like, so we went up there which is pretty far away from us but it's okay and we picked up two bags of this because this is a really good high protein lab lock to mix with Missouri or not Missouri Higgins seed mix so I got two because they only had two left and for some reason they're either everywhere or only in a few places so right now they're only in a few places so I picked up all of the bags they had there which was two and then I also picked up like two other things that I saw that I wanted to get for his enrichment because I needed to. I didn't, but I wanted to. So first I got this, which is a new thing I just found. It is the Higgins Premium Pet Foods, which is the same brand that makes the seed mix that I recommend for hamsters, which is interesting. This is definitely new, by the way. I've never seen this before. It's the Habitat Natural Snack Apples and Bananas for rabbits, guinea pigs, and small animals. And it's just some um, apples and bananas that are freeze-dried. I love these myself as a snack. And I always am like, I want to give my hamster one just to see how he likes it. But I never feed my hamster human food unless it's like safe for them. So I wanted to get some of this that's similar to what I eat so he can try the snacks that I like. <laughs> with this. This is a really high quality treat in my opinion. They might be high in sugar so make sure you feed in small quantities especially to dwarf hamsters who are prone to diabetes um, but they look really good. Something else I picked up um, that I wanted to get, I always want to get when I go to Petco because I'm not used to going to Petco. We only really have Pet Smarts near us and Pet Supplies Plus. So when I go to Petco I'm like, I don't know, starstruck because these are like items that other hamster owners always have and stuff that's like normal because if you have Petco's near you, but I don't. So I got the block shoes 
by the You and Me brand because I needed some more chews for my hamster that were a bit bigger. And I don't know why I got these because these aren't that much bigger. If anything, I think they're smaller than the chews I currently have for my hamster. But I, I was swayed by the cuteness and the temptation of having like block letter chews. But it's fine. They'll still be really good. It's colored with pet safe um, paint and they're really cute. There's all different like symbols on them and they're just really cute. And it's a big pack of them for a good price. So I'm glad I got these just to add a new texture. I know it's not very natural, but it's still a chew toy and that's all that matters. So that is everything I got at Petco today. And that is everything that I got in the mail the past few weeks that I've been waiting to unbox for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it a lot. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this. Just kidding, I do. But it's so much. And I'm so thankful for everything that I have. And I'm so thankful for all of my subscribers and all of my supporters. You guys are literally the best. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, bye guys.